Hey, this is Thomas. And today I want to talk about passing data between view controllers. And there are, generally speaking, there are two scenarios that you want to um, pass the data to the next view controller or to the previous view controller. And an example for uh, case one is you have a view controller A and this view controller pushes view controller B onto the navigation stack and he also wants to give view controller B some kind of data. And scenario two is where view controller B gets popped from the view controller stack and view controller A appears. But before um, view controller B is doing this, he wants to send some form of data back to view controller A. And this data could be, for example, a user input into a text field or something like that. And for both scenarios, there are different ways to, to achieve this kind of behavior. And how you can do this, we will see uh, in the next example. So I have already created a small example. Uh, the app is running. This is view controller A and view controller A has a text field and the button show B. And after tapping show B, uh, view controller B will be pushed onto the navigation stack. This is implemented inside um, the storyboard by just setting a segue from this button to this view controller and embedding the first view controller into the navigation view controller. And on this view controller B, you can see there is a label and two buttons. If you're pressing the uppercase button, the string will be uppercase. And also if you're, if you're pressing the lowercase button, the text will be lowercase. Um, there is no connection between these view controllers though. So we want to implement this. For example, um, if I'm typing hello world and pressing show B, then I want to let this string hello world to appear in, in this label. And after pressing uh, one of these buttons, for example, after pressing the uppercase button, I also want that this text will be sent back to view controller A and I want the text to appear in this text field. And we will start by implementing passing the data from A to B. And for that, we first draw in uh, view controller B and we will define a property that is just called text and it's of type string optional. And after the view has loaded, we will set the text of the label to uh, this text. And in view controller A, we will uh, implement the method prepare for a segue because in this method, we can access the next view controller. And for that, we will uh, look for view controller B. And uh, we cast it to view controller B because uh, this property is just of type UI view controller. And we want to be sure, of course, that we really have um, um, a view controller of this type. And there is a B missing. And now we can set the text uh, property. It's not saved yet, so I can't see it yet. So there is still some problem. Oops. Now it's working. And we will set the text to um, the text from the text field. And now if I build and run, I will set again hello world and after pressing show B there is indeed the string uh, but after pressing uppercase this string is not changed yet so we also have to implement the other way around and for this we will use 
um, a delegate. So we are defining a protocol, view controller v delegate. And this protocol has uh, one function that is called um, text changed. And it has um, argument of type string optional. And we also need a property where the um, where the delegate is where the delegate can be accessed and is of type view controller b delegate optional and after changing the text I will call the method text changed and set the text and the same uh, has to be done in after setting uh, after pressing the lowercase button and now that's all we have to do in view controller b and in view controller a first the view controller have to confirm to view controller b delegate and it also has to implement the method text changed and after this method gets called, we will set the text to the new text. And the last thing we have to do is set viewcontroller A as the delegate of viewcontroller B. And now we hit build and run. Hello world. Show B, pressing, pressing uppercase, and pressing back, and indeed uh, now the swing is uppercase, and the other way around it's also working. And now let's talk about why we have done it this way. Um, we have it done because um, the first case, um, setting uh, passing the, the data to the next view controller, if a view controller is is presenting or pushing a new view, view controller, uh, it always knows um, which type the view controller is of. So um, it's then it's never a problem to, to set properties directly. But uh, the other way um, it's different because um, this view controller um, does not have to know um, who has presented it and it shouldn't know it because um, if it does know if if it doesn't know it then it can be used uh, in other um, contexts in the app so for example I could present view controller B uh, at a completely different position within the app and it would still be work uh, it would still be working because view controller B is not depending on this information and by using this delegate, um, it's always working. The view controller that presents view controller B just have to implement the view controller B delegate um, protocol and implement this, this function and then it's working. And so, yeah, th th these are the two ways um, um, you can take and if you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Take care.